Right now, Eversource is reporting more than 618,000 outages statewide. That is nearly half of its customers. And today, there is strong criticism for Eversource, Connecticut's largest power company. Governor Lamont is among the many demanding answers. Chief Capital reporter Susan Raff is live at Eversource headquarters in Berlin, where the governor just arrived for a meeting. Susan. Aaron, good afternoon. We got word late this afternoon that Governor Lamont wanted to come here to Eversource's headquarters to get some answers about yesterday's storm and why so many people lost power. And he is not the only one with strong criticism. In fact, many elected leaders in cities and towns are all demanding answers. They want to know why more wasn't done, or they say no, not enough was done, in fact, to prevent some of the outages that we are seeing right now. And if you remember, the last time we saw outages like this was in the October 2011 storm, Storm Alfred. Some 800,000 people were without power at that time. There were other problems with yesterday's storm as well. A lot of ratepayers, customers are telling us they tried calling. But unfortunately, the automated system wasn't working. Now, we did have a chance to talk to Eversource earlier today. They told us, in fact, that the storm coverage or the outages could have been worse, given the fact they say that they've done a lot over these years to cut back on trees and also strengthen or harden their infrastructure. That's what they call it. And that is what Eversource told us. We will have more on five and six on some of the things that they told us about the storm. But here, obviously, Governor Lamont is at Eversource trying to get some answers. And hopefully we will have that at five and six. And we will find out if whatever was discussed here in this meeting was able to accomplish something. We are live at Eversource headquarters in Berlin. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. A lot of unhappy people. Susan, thank you very much.